may I know, do you see my face or see my screen now? I'm sorry all, we have uh, 33 people in the chat room now, uh, but uh, we are expecting about 120 students plus minus. So uh, everybody that enter needs me to admit you in the, in the group. So should you wait? Uh, Um, I think I'll just start because I have recorded this uh, meeting. So whoever uh, coming in the meantime, I will keep admitting you are into this scene. But uh, there might be a lag in between. So I'm trying to speak slower so that when my voice is transmitted to you, you can hear it clearly. And also in between their admission from other students, it might uh, have some problem uh, that you can hear my voice is lacking also. So we will try to run through it. Then um, we can improve uh, in our next session. Okay. The first thing that I want to say is about your marks for assignment two. Um, let me go to my guru and uh, share my screen. Song. Now it's not Christmas. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Go away first. Go away first. <laughs> go away, go away. Hey, I think you can see my screen now. Um, even my guru is hang. Maybe because too many application um, announcements. That was your assignment too. Okay, so for group A, there's no problem. All of you um, did very well, submitted on time. For group B, there are still 8% who have not submitted. So if you are here, um, you might. Okay, um, these are the people that still hasn't, haven't submitted to me. Uh, may I know why? To be honest, it's really not easy to conduct an online class. Um, as far as I know, I'm almost considered pioneer already. Um, the rest of the lecturers, so far I've not heard them conducting uh, any class. But uh, last week I heard Dr. Wong Shirley has already conducted a class and she said 
uh, there are feedbacks from from those who has who have tried. Uh, it's more of like we talking to ourselves on the screen because uh, you guys are not allowed to on your your video and also your audio uh, because there will be collision. Then some of the amount of people is really a lot. Then at the end, I'm talking to myself. So I can only see your response through the chat room. Okay, back to back to the um, group B. May I know why? Okay. Hello, can everybody hear me? Still hearing me? Yes. Okay. Yes, doctor. Okay, all right. So for group B, any of you that happen to be in the category that has not submitted your assignment? No response? No people from group B? How about group C? Group C rather a lot. You see, according to my announcement, group C there are 15 person, which means almost half. Group C, where are you all? Human, uh, Aslin, Anissa, Tana Lechami. Uh, I saw this name. You should be in the chat room. May I know why you're not submitting or there is some... Uh, I, I left out your assignment in the email. You emailed me but I didn't receive. Things like that. Hello, Group C. Okay, then please send again because I, I, my group member has some problem. Uh, but you still, what was the problem that you're having, Tana Lachami? Can you give me the SketchUp link or what? Because if you don't let me know the problem, I'll assume you never submit and I will proceed to giving zero for that particular assignment. Okay, I, I do not want to waste too much time because it's real on that online classes. So those that I already projected, if you see your name has not, I have not filled in any marks yet, can you approach me in the group, in the WhatsApp group, telling me the problem? List out the name of your group member and let me know that I'm expecting uh, your submission soon. Can y'all do that so that I can move on to the next objective of the, today's class? But my name is in red color. Okay, since all of you are seeing, okay, I will I will screenshot uh, to the uh, WhatsApp now. Those that are red color, which means uh, I have not keyed in any marks for that particular assignment. After this class, can y'all just uh, approach me directly on the WhatsApp group? Don't individual on the WhatsApp group. And then, if there's one representative, just name out everybody in your in your team. Uh, what's you are having the same problem, right? So everybody in your team, uh, and when you are submitting it soon, okay? So now I'm doing that for you.
Group A and Group D, I will not be doing the screenshot because Group A is uh, all the marks are fully re released. And for Group D, I think they have only two person, but they have already informed me what's the problem. Okay, so I assume this is uh, one thing down already. Uh, approach me after class. This thing is done. So the next thing is your assignment, the final assignment. Um, before final assignment, there are a few things which I need to learn. Okay, um, first thing is, um, how do we continue our online class after this? Okay, um, now we are actually in week... Now we are actually in week 10, right? So we're left with another four, four, four to five more weeks. But uh, the first seven classes, the first half of the semester, we have uh, used the correct approach, which we urge to finish up our quiz one, assignment one, and assignment two earlier. So now we have one. So not much of a problem, since uh, the remaining time is only, all of you are concentrating on just one assignment. So um, previously, the arrangement as promised in your uh, pro forma, uh, assignment one is actually a flipped classroom, but the thing is, we are expecting before MCO, we are expecting there might be some problem like that. So I already asked you to submit assignment one by recording yourself, and it has all been evaluated. So that I don't think that we need to repeat by asking you to come online and present to the rest. So I'll take it as it is. So the remaining uh, four to five weeks. We will just concentrate on one thing, which is a final assignment. Uh, I can can I have some seconder who agree to this proposal? From time to time, when I'm not talking, you can actually unmute your your microphone and respond to me. Otherwise, uh, the one and a half hours you will be only hearing my voice. Okay. Uh, okay all right. So, so in that case, we agreed not to repeat, repeat the flip classroom and you do not need to come uh, online to present your assignment one anymore. So we will just uh, continue fully with uh, the final assignment. Okay. Now, the thing is, um, our teaching method, uh, we have changed the pro forma uh, in, in terms of the clone index of uh, SLT, student learning time from uh, all of half face-to-face -face and non-face-to-face -to, -face to fully uh, non-face-to-face. -face. And from the non-face-to-face, -face, we have uh, two, two sides also. One is guided learning and one is non-guided learning. So majority of the time is under non-guided learning for online. Okay, so there are more people admitting. 50 now, okay. So, um, we are going to do in an asynchronous mode, which means that most of the time I'll be uh, giving your link or recording, pre-recorded things uh, through my guru. And then you have to take your own initiative and go through the video by yourself. Okay. Second thing will be um, in terms of the teaching method, there'll be more of a discussion problem, which means that uh, even the support on the WhatsApp is considered as uh, my teaching time. So... If you have any problem, you can actually post in the group. Uh, unfortunately, our group is not uh, 120 people in one single group. So if a group D happened to say something which I think will benefit to C, A, and B, so I will screenshot and just uh, post to you all as usual. 
So group by group, just ask problem that you face. So if I'm able to help, I'll let you know the keyword and how you can solve it, like the previous uh, assignment, okay? So the hands-on is almost very, very rare for this semester. But uh, next semester onwards, maybe there will be uh, more hands-on asynchronous video, which also is pre-recorded. Uh, it is rather impossible for me to teach live online uh, by clicking one by one, and I'm not using uh, any hardware from OC or so. So uh, based on what I have at home, I'll just try my best to do the recording, but not for this semester. For hands-on. Okay. People come in here and drop and off and on. Uh, I hope today you all do not need to actually climb the tree to come into this class. It's very hot now, right, in OC Confession about the student uh, from UMS who, who, who made the, the tree, uh, shelter on the tree and then to get the Wi-Fi. Okay, uh, next thing is... Um, Uh, we will go to the assignment tree, okay? Assignment tree. Um, I've not finished with the rubric yet, which I think the next class we will talk about the rubric and how you are going to score. Today, I will be teaching you what is the expectation of your uh, assignment tree and also uh, to clear the air about what you need to do in assignment tree. So uh, from there, I'll try to do it in Dui Bahasa, uh, means the dual language for international students over here. Um, but again, this is not a language subject, so I'm just trying my best. Certain words I forget, you have to help. Okay. Um, every single time we do online classroom, the rules of this class is, again, you have to post all your questions through the chat book. Chat book if I'm not stopping my conversation yet. Uh, otherwise, uh, if I didn't say anything, you can unmute your, your uh, video or audio and then you can uh, ask the question so that the rest can benefit at the same time. Okay, so um, you're seeing my screen, right? Okay, so you... The problem is at each minute or seconds, there are people admitting and uh, accidentally leave from this group. So every time you admit, I need to press admit. Okay. Can see this slide? Can see the rubric to explicit task surface modeling? Okay, all right. So uh, let me explain about the assignment first. The last assignment is going to be like your assignment before. Uh, except the assignment before is concentrated on architecture, while the last assignment is uh, concentrating on a single uh, object. Last semester or last last semester, I do not know exactly which semester, we were doing uh, implicit modeling, which is much difficult. So this time uh, I'm, I'm, I'm putting it down to explicit. Uh, or also known as hard means that in layman term, there are more lines and is uh, something which is more rigid, like car, um, a, a cuboid, uh, a rack, a TV, you know, something that is more rigid. Uh, has a, uh, implicit surface is also known as the organic uh, modeling. It's more of um, perhaps a humanoid uh, character or involve a uh, animal modeling, which you need more spline, okay? But again, um, I, I couldn't teach you how to cheat, but computer graphics is really all about cheating. So there are a lot of uh, 3D free um, object that is uh, already pre-made by uh, a lot of uh, graphic uh, designer out there. So what you can do is either start from scratch or you can actually find something from the uh, 3D free, uh, free 3D models. Um, then you alter from there. But when you alter, you need to find a picture from the internet that's, that is under the ancient category, which means that long, long time ago. 
So the reason why I always go back to ancient is if I say the modern one, you might copy it 100%. So if it's ancient, you still need to do a little modification in order to fit into the team. So uh, with that, it's easier for me to de detect if you are using it 100% from the online sources or you have already put on some effort. So the expectation of the, the um, this assignment is actually not much because like I say, you can you do not need to start from scratch. You can download. But the thing is, how smart are you in choosing the right model in order to make it as your submission? Okay, so the last assignment is to model either one of these ancient transport in Malaysia. Uh, you can choose either one of these, uh, Sampan or Tongkang, uh, or Ferry or Bulog, uh, Bulog or House Tram or or steamship. Okay. I think um wait, give me some time. Uh the assignment. I didn't merge the picture. So you see, even my computer is not that fast. Uh, okay, this is what I can find in the internet. But of course, you you can find other things. But when you're doing your submission in your video compilation, you have to show me. Uh, for example, this is the... the um, uh, this is the house tram that you choose, okay? So you have to show this is the photo and this is your final output. You have to let me compare. It's five marks on how near is it to your photorealistic modeling. So it's quite the similar to your previous assignment. So I uh, will be doing a comparison. But previous assignment, I only locked down with one single picture. Over here, you can choose to model either one of these or you want to model the bullock cards, but of course, you do not need to model the animal because again, this is explicit modeling, so you do not need to involve any organic stuff in it. Then, um, or either you want to model the sampan or the tongkang. Uh, for international students, sampan and tongkang means uh, uh, the lighters, okay? This old type of... Uh, 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 simplified version of the ship that exists in Malaysia long ago. But of, now we do have it. It's just that uh, you have to make it look ancient. Um, ferry at that time, uh, ferry at the time, or steamship, uh, it's not really clear, but uh, bullock cuts, you still see it nowadays, uh, except again, you do not need to model the human and the animal. So, um, after today, first thing, uh, I'll be posting this later on. You have to watch this four video. This is your um, homework for this week. So um, again, the assignment last time uh, said we are doing Blender is because uh, I have a demonstrator that uh, is more uh, familiar with Blender. So I thought he will be doing Blender with you all. But uh, for me, I'm, I'm really uh, a fan of 3ds Max. So um, if you all want to use any other software that is equivalent, uh, by all means, go ahead. But I do have students who ask me, can I use SketchUp for this assignment? Like I say, it's not going to be as beautiful or as uh, precise because uh, SketchUp is like a, like a Lego form. So a lot of things has already ready. So you cannot really change too much from there unless you want to do the beginning, uh, the surface modeling first, then you want to export it to another software for improvement. So 
if you have time, uh, try to explore either one of these, uh, Blender or Maya or 3DX Max. Or if you want a Moodle, which I don't really use. So the same thing when you're doing game, uh, I, I believe a lot of you use that, uh, what, what is that called? Scratch, is it? So Scratch is already pre-programmed, uh, so you don't touch any programming at all. But when you are using Unity or Unreal, then you have more exposure on how you can actually modify or break down certain things and then you put in your own thing. So uh, I'll really encourage you all to watch these four videos, starting from the bottom. Um, learn all, about all the main tools and the workflow first uh, to the begin, beginning class to intermediate and then to learn about how to do a, a, a precise modeling, precision modeling. So the latest version is about uh, 2.82. So if your hardware can support, you can download the latest version. Of course, usually the latest version has more, um, more um, what is that called? Uh, more specialized tools and more uh, functions that you can add in. Uh, but if your hardware cannot, you can always downgrade. Uh, I have students who has uh, who have uh, texted me and asking uh, totally cannot support uh, that one. I can't help much, but there are certain uh, advice that I can give is to uh, remove uninstall your previous uh, SketchUp and then only you install your Blender at the same time. Do housekeeping, remove all the unnecessary video and song from your from a laptop first so that you're able to run this for your final assignment. Okay, so remember this is your homework. Let me get back to our chat room and see if there any response or... Up to here, okay? Okay, all right. So I'll continue. Okay, so you can choose any any picture uh, out of this model and then you make sure that you put side by side comparing with your final output. Okay, so this assignment is 40% uh, whereby the rubric is will be based on uh, the Likert scale of 1 to 5 where 1 is being poor and 5 is being excellent. It has uh, 8 components in each uh, to sum up these 40 marks and uh, five marks are allocated to each component. So roughly these are the components, but I still haven't uh, finalized yet. I will convert all these components into a proper rubric so that you can see how I'm going to access it. And there's no way you cannot score at least half of it if you follow the rubric. If it says that uh, I need three, then you give three. It says that I need five, you give five, okay? All right, so the first part of the component will be the similarity between the hard surface modeling with the chosen picture from the internet. So I will be looking at the rationality both in your appearance and structure as seen on the old postcard or your whatever uh, picture that you downloaded from the internet that is uh, considered ancient as compared to your human design result, which is this is your group work. So um, this assignment is a uh, six to eight person per team. Okay. So the second uh, five marks is allocated for the level of deformation. Maybe, maybe the word deformation is not appropriate for this round, but what I mean over here is I'll be looking at uh, your 3D meshes, how you stack on it. Like when you're doing sampan also, I need to know that uh, there are different silhouettes and I can see the smoothing uh, when you're doing um, not really a spline, but maybe a curved line and so on to shape that uh, sampan. Okay. Um, structural diversity. So you can actually show me the design breakdown uh, or the constituent parts uh, by showing me before the. I, I always use sampan for example. Okay. So the bottom part. Uh, the top part, the engine part, you can actually break down your design to show these five marks. Uh, range of motion, again, this is not uh, a correct word for this round. 
maybe uh, I'll talk about position instead of uh, motion. So this is easy. If you are using 3ds Max, just give me like a, maybe four from the top view, from the side view, uh, orthogonal view. Uh, what else? You do not need to give me perspective view, I guess, because this is again ex uh, explicit modeling. So I just need to see from the top, from the uh, uh, front view, from the side view. Uh, you do not need to give me the bottom view either. It means nothing at all. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, next thing is about discretization. Uh, I can't remember which chapter, but uh, it's covered in your assignment one. Uh, you have to show me five different number of polygons with different solution, which means that the first, uh, again, um, there are a lot of people doing the mistake in the previous assignment, whereby you have model, uh, a over complex model, and then to bring it down, you need to remove a lot of things. But so far, you all have not learned about um, optimizing the modeling, which means that you only remove the internal part in order to uh, lessen the number of triangles. So uh, discretization over here, I'll show you later uh, an example uh, video. Um, simply, you just need to do the recording of number of polygon. And then every time you remove the number of polygon, uh, does it actually uh, still keep the high resolution but low polygonal count? And then at the end, you just need to conclude. Maybe instead of five, five, show me five, and just show me three. Okay. Then you just need to conclude uh, which, uh, this is the original one, compared to three different types of uh, uh, different polygon count. Which one is the best that still have the good resolution? Again, maybe this one, I will find back the Taurus slide. You remember there's one like donut purple color one, the Taurus slides. So you read again about in, through the slides about discretization, then you will have a better idea about what I'm talking about. Uh, but again, I'll uh, show you a video later so that uh, you are clear about uh, what is expected out of your final compilation of your output. Uh, another five months given to quality and precision. So uh, be looking at the surfaces and triangle grid. Uh, choices of texture, um, although it's an ancient sampan, okay, but ancient still you can make it like a very woody. Uh, the line is very clear. The line is uh, very blurred you can actually uh, modify uh, at least three. Or you can put everything in one, which means that in one entire sampan, this bottom part you use one kind of texture, the next part you use another kind of texture, uh, the, the rod by the side you use another texture, it is fine. But the thing is, you need to highlight in your video and spell out exactly which texture that you're using. Again, refer back to your learning material under the chapter of texture to see which texture you will apply to. Uh, the last uh, five marks will be on color variation. You can again show me uh, three different sampan with three different color variation. Or I prefer, I actually prefer you put uh, three color variation in one single sampan but you have to spell out like uh, what type of color variation that you put by the side. So again, I'll show you a video just to show you how you're going to compile it. Okay. Up to here, any problem? It's time for you to ask question. Uh, okay, some people ask about just now the position uh, back view. Um, I wouldn't fix saying which view that I want, but if you think the view is meaningful, is something different from the other view, then you should put it as one view. So most of the time, the top view and the front view is compulsory. But sometimes because of the front view is hidden from the left view and the right view, it might be another two possible view to, uh, to make it four views. Uh, 
remember, I only need the orthogonic. I don't need the perspective view. And when you are doing the modeling, please scale it to one-to-one, -to -one, meaning the actual size. Okay. We have to record the progress of the work. Uh, I'll show you a sample recording, uh, but it is not the exact recording. You can have some idea how you are going to compile it. So it's very different from one to another, depending on which object that you are going to take. Uh, this doc, doc is already uploaded. No, this doc is actually the same as what you find under your, uh, my guru assignment. I'm just uh, putting it in more details. So once I come up with rubric, uh, today I will be putting uh, this slide for you. Uh, all the link to learning blender. This is one thing. Later, if I have time, I'll go through other things. So one by one, I'll cover. Okay. So up to here, any more questions before I, I move to the next slide? Okay, nothing? See, I told you already, like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> any problem? Okay, so next. Uh, please also prepare your own evaluation sheet in a DOCX when you are emailing me together with your submission in the video form. In your evaluation sheet, remember there should be your name, your metric number, your group, uh, calling number is important. Okay, thank you. At least you give me some response, then I know whether should I proceed or not. Okay. Um, your contribution. Uh, screenshot according to the video and YouTube link uh, to your video. So when you're giving me your DOCX, it should be a quite lengthy DOCX because if I don't open, I fail to open up your video, uh, I can actually refer to the screenshot in your, your documents, okay? But um, up to now, I have not allocated any marks for the document and the video. But the video and the document is actually... Um, that's where I find out each five marks, whether do you fulfill, fulfill each of the component or not. So, um, because I think that the video and the DOC, DOCX is like a secondary um, submission to me. So, if you don't do the screenshot, it should be fine unless your video breaks down. Uh, the video, again, this is not an audio video class. So, I, in the rubric, I do not put any... Uh, marks allocated for your video compilation. So there's no need to make it too fancy as long as I can find out uh, uh, did you fulfill uh, each of the components. Okay, so work in a team of six to eight. To complete this summation, uh, one representative of each team should email me like the previous assignment and, and yeah, not all, submit to my guru under assignment that is for the audit uh, under assignment three, and each of you, not a representative anymore, each of you need to fill in some questionnaire on the Google form. I haven't prepared a questionnaire yet, but uh, I will just copy, uh, once I get it done, I'll just uh, paste the link over here, okay? So with that, your submission of final one is uh, completed. Um, maybe if you can screenshot that you, mm, wait, Maybe the questionnaire in the Google form, I will not make it anonymous. I'll make it, you need to write your name and your calling number. So if you feel to, to score very well in your 40 marks of assignment, this is where the bonus marks comes in. Okay, is that okay? So I'm trying to really help at least uh, those who... Uh, but from now, uh, like, like you see, if I screenshot just now, those that has already exceed 15 marks up to the three assignments, uh, it has already turned to another color, for example. Hold on, yeah. Oh, group C, I don't see anyone. Maybe most of them are in group D. Uh, group D and group A. Wait, let me see. No, I don't see it anywhere. Uh, but anyway, just now I screenshot some of the remarks. If you see your name, uh, the, the pink color means I have not keyed in any marks. I do not receive your submission. 
for the third, uh, second assignment on the SketchUp. If the name has already turned into black color, which means that you have exceed 50 marks, and most likely if you perform in your last assignment, uh, it's going to be an A or at least an A minus. Um, so from I, 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 I do not hide the marks at all because I want you to speculate how many more months for you to hit your passing. Otherwise, you have to repeat another sem. Seeing me again. Okay. So, um, to at least get 20 marks and above, uh, it is really possible if you work closely. Uh, let me highlight about the word contribution over here. Um, there are problems whereby now I don't see you at all. So, you also have problems in seeing your other friends. So, uh, I'll advise you to take team members where you can. You are still keeping in contact. You can you can approach. So you have to first uh, be very clear. Again, I'll give you an example. Do not need to follow closely. Uh, let's say you have a full uh, eight members in your team. Give them individual uh, contribution. Okay, somebody might want to do the the modeling first, and then done. Don't do any other thing already. The second person pass the modeling uh, uh, file to the next person uh, doing the cleaning up or maybe uh, improvement touching up with details. The third one might want to do the texture mapping. The fourth one might want to do uh, the color. The fifth one might be doing the DLCX. The sixth DLCX will be the last one, I think. Uh, video, you might want to have two person doing it. Uh, maybe one person doing the recording for each person and then the other one doing the compilation. So you can actually list down the exact contribution. So there's no argument on who didn't do any work. Okay. So um, then again, um, you still need to find a team member of at least six. The previous round, we have uh, people who are doing in two, three, so which add up the number of assignments that I need to go through. Please keep at least minimum six because later when I'm going to show you the video, there are a lot of things that you, you need to spell it out, detail out. So that's why you need a big group, not a small group. Uh, I do have a response uh, from students saying that uh, six to eight might be too many. To me, it's not too many when you are doing it, uh, when you assign the contribution properly. Each of you have something to be busy with. Okay. So again, also consider about people who cannot get good laptop or some people that are not good in certain part. So the other one can start with doing the modeling is the most important thing. So the rest of it is more of like uh, the details work. So you see who start first and who do next, depending on uh, who is uh, better in what. Okay. So um, this 40 marks has nothing to do with real for now because I haven't changed the rubric. So um, there are some sample YouTube that maybe later we can go through some. But now the most important thing is to see the sample video compilation. Okay. Um, um, this assignment is one of the sample assignment. Uh, the group choose to use Maya instead of Blender or 3ds Max. Uh, and then uh, it's not the really full compilation uh, because it differ from time to time. This one is on Monster. So um, the Monster that they are doing is a combination of um, root the plant root, and also the eyeball, but uh, with the character of bat. Okay, 
So these three three character they they form together to do the monster modeling. Can y'all see? Can y'all see? Can y'all see this video? Yes. All right. Yes. 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 Sure yes. 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 So the previous round they separate it into wireframe. So you can see over here that uh, this is actually recorded from the application itself. When you click to, for them to, to preview all this, it will automatically do the calculation for you. So this number of edges, number of faces, number of triangle, and the number of the UV band. Okay. So they show like uh, step by step. Uh, how they get into the final result. Ah, you come here, you come here. Mm. Now they cannot see you, I think. Bye. Huh? You got to see it, it. Okay, then you see together. Are you able to model that? Uh, no, it's a monster. The bad monster is a scarier. Uh, which, which is a scarier? Uh, the bad monster is a scarier. Okay. Why did you need to see? Mm. Okay. Why did you need to see? 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 Why so you can actually show, uh, for example, this bed, you can actually show that uh, the breakdown, one part of it is the root, which is actually our capillary in this case. And then the eyeball, which is actually the face of the bed. And then, of course, the, the similarity of the bed look to this bed look, the monster bed look. Uh, or you can also break down the parts of the eyeball that if you have highlighted certain texture, um, uh, also the teeth, so you can do, okay, Back. okay, this is the, that's where his discretization start, okay, so he's trying to show that at first, uh, he actually has this uh, 55k of, uh, sorry, 84k of uh, triangle town, And when he tried to minimize, he realized that the, he can only bring down up to 48K and he feel that this is already the best peak. So if you see uh, on the wireframe, on this blue color thing, can you see my cursor? Can you see my cursor? The mouse cursor? <laughs> it's okay if I keep going. You see, this is uh, much more complex, especially on the teeth part. So maybe he actually reduced near to the teeth. You see, it's less complex already. So the when it's less complex, the triangle is actually bigger. So when the triangle is bigger, the number of triangle will be lesser. So, but you have to show at least three. In this video, they only show that uh, the first one, the primary one, and they already bring down uh, to the maximum of 48,000. I'll be uploading this video to our learning materials also. Uh, for your part, you do not need to do this UV map. Last time, the rubric has UV map, so they have to show each of the part uh, when it's broken down, these are the silhouette that you can see. So just follow the requirement of the assignment closely. Okay, uh, for this part, they actually show that uh, these are the texture for the eyeball, uh, the flesh of the eyeball, and the bone of the eyeball, uh, which is also the similar thing that, that similar texture you, they use for the teeth. Okay, however, Actually, this was a misunderstood. This is not the thing that I want. I want you all to say that this is actually exactly what texture, not which part of it that you all apply the texture.
so they are manipulating with the different kind of texture. But this assignment, I give them full 40 marks too because uh, I think it's already very near to, although they never follow the rubric uh, exactly, but it's already the best at that time. So they have a different pose because again, this is organic modeling. So you can manip manipulate in terms of posture, but for your case, you do not need to do posing for me. You just need to do in different perspective. Ah, sorry, in different view. So the video compilation, try to maintain it at about three minutes, uh, maximum three and 3.5 minutes, because no need to be too lengthy. As long as I see, uh, to me, when the rubric is here, okay, I see this part, I'll take, I see this part, I'll take, which means that you have fulfilled this rubric, and then I will do the compilation of how, what's the total mark. So do a video compilation that is as short as possible. Okay, up to here, any problem? Please ask. Any problem? Okay. Talking about texture, refer back to this slide. So tell me exactly what texture that you are using. Most of the time, you'll be using the diffuse because if you're doing the sampan, there will be line, 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 line at the side. Uh, you have any bump because after the sampan hit by the, the wave and the water for too long, there might be some bump on the sampan. Uh, or maybe there might be different height also in the sampan because you need to dive down first. Uh, if it's an old sampan, it might be without specular. So you don't see that uh, under the, the sunlight, you don't see it is so much of the, the glossiness. So choose from here the texture that you're using, okay? And then talking about discretization, I can't remember actually which topic was that. Can anybody remember which topic was that? I'm sure some of you has uh, done the slides in your assignment one. No. Mm. I remember was quite, quite in front. Go and check back. Go and check back where where discretization is. If I could, I will let you know too. So up to here, any problem that you can discuss and ask or you think you need to kickstart first so that you have uh, more questions. Now it's time for you to unmute your, your, your video or audio at least to respond to me what is needed, what, what you need to know in order to start the assignment. Anyone? No? Hello. Doctor, I have the question. Okay. At, at the chat at the chat section. Can you check it? Uh at the check. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Oh, okay. oh no. no. Okay. All right. Okay. Master Doctor, video to Machamana. Do we need to record the progress or do we need to present it after Sia? Or is it the animation of the sampan? Okay, uh, mix mix, huh? mix language, yeah? Okay, um, you, yes, you need to record your progress, but not in terms of every day, the, the improvement from there. You just need to refer back to the rubric and it says, okay, you need 
to see the number of triangle, you have to record the number of triangle. Sometimes your recording, it could be in a slide form, which means that you need to copy and paste and then you need to put inside the slide. Meaning that uh, you, you have to uh, record your object and then you put into the slide and then on your slide, you need to have some text. It could be that way. You do not need to present it after you have done. Uh, there is no animation involved in this assignment. Animation will cover in the animation subject of another class. So this class has no animation at all. Okay, faham atau tidak? Tapi kena record. Tapi record video itu berdasarkan rubrik yang diberi. Kalau rubrik itu mengatakan bahawa perlu posisi, perlu different color variation. You record sekadar tu saja. Sebab video itu sebagai um, uh, apa tu uh, sebagai live assignment, uh, live submission untuk saya. So saya uh, akan wujud kepada rubik tu. Kalau benda tu ada, saya akan mark. Kalau benda tu tak ada, terus kosong. Sebab kita buat kerja ikut rubik. Okay. Then tak perlu present lepas siap. Tak ada animasi langsung terhadap sampan tersebut. There's no animation at all. You just need to rotate, switch, uh, uh, turn around with your gizmos and then just show different view. Okay, next one. Doctor, most of the texture we need to buy first. Is there any website that doctor recommend for texture? The other time when you were doing uh, assignment Two, how did you do texture? For me, most of the time, I will be typing on Google, similar something. Meaning like, a, a, you can see my screen, right? Okay, I'll just type uh, similar, um, for example, uh, wood. Okay. So if I want this texture, I'll be posting this texture on my material, then I'll apply to the material. That's all. Why do you need to buy? This could be one way. Another way is our, our friend uh, always highly recommend uh, to go to Substance. You can get some texture over there too. So there's no need to buy at all. Why do you need to buy? Okay, next one. Texture.ninja. What is that? Maybe it's a, it's a place where you can get different, different kind of texture. Yes, 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 yes. Only your face though. I see it now. Okay. The little box at the VIP that you say you have UV whatsoever. How to do that? What little box? Uh, CT no Alia, what do you mean? I don't understand. The little box at the video that say UV whatsoever, how to do that? You do not need to give me UV map in this video. Okay, Mustakim suggests you can go to this blenderkit.com. I saw Mark screenshot at WhatsApp just now and our calling number has changed. Is that uh, will be our new calling number. Uh, yes, Asrina, please follow the new calling number because we have like uh, about four people that has dropped from this group. So uh, certain group, uh, A, B, C or D, there might be some changes. I have a personal-ish question. May I DM you? <laughs> All right, never mind. Personal-ish, then you DM me. Okay, uh, somebody uh, suggests you can go to this link to download texture for free or so. Thank you, Zufatli. Fat, oh, right, Zufat Is it? Anissa. Doctor, for doing this assignment, it's not limited application for doing this, right? Yes, it's, uh, you can do multiple application. The problem is only with whether you're familiar or already comfortable with the application or not. Another problem is it must be something that is, uh, what is that, universal 
so that it can be transferred to your other team member to follow up the work. So if your other team member or oh, their particular application can only open in FBX, then please convert, export your file in FBX before giving it to them. Uh, previously, I saw a lot of you, uh, not a lot, there are certain people who, uh, in the screenshot, I can see the texture. But after you convert it into a file or you upload into Sketchpad, uh, the texture went missing and so on. That most probably you didn't compile it, the file in a single folder. So you lost your FBM file. There's no material attached to your FBX object. Okay. Then Blender is the best. Haha, <laughs> this is a Blender fan. Okay. So uh, up to now, do you have any other doubt that I haven't cleared for the first round? You, I'll. To be honest, in order for you to master one graphic application, you need about two and a half years. But in order to do one assignment that is graphical, you just need about two weeks to learn. Get familiarized with all the buttons and then you are able to give it a go. And like I say, most of the time I will not be doing it from scratch. If you are very, very good in copy and paste and and recycle things. You always start from people's uh, object and then from there you manipulate it. I learned Blender for one month straight during PKP. Good job. <laughs> yeah, you should start earlier just to meet the, the requirement of the final assignment. Uh, you are left with about, I'm, I'm thinking because I put the due date of submission to be on the 3rd of uh, July so that you can give me two weeks time and by week 14, I can release the full marks to you already. You will straight know your grade before you actually receive your final transcript or before the semester end, you can know exactly grade for this uh, subject already. Of course, again, they are always good and bad, but uh, accept it as it is because that is the best that you can do during the PT. So uh, if you start earlier, of course, you can generate a better result because uh, graphic again is a uh, modeling or that is again about how precise and how meticulous you are. So most of the time when we model, we, we, if we from beginning, we already hold on to certain precision. So at the end, you can actually generate a better result. Otherwise, you have to waste time cleaning up certain part, which is almost like you better start a new one for a second round. Any more uh, question? Um, next week, uh, I will be talking about the rubric and also um, other sample. Uh, in fact, if people that are doing fast, you can actually go and search for some uh, bullock card uh, modeling online. Uh, I found one, uh, two using Maya and one using Blender. Uh, there are also a lot of Sampan modeling that you can find on YouTube, but unfortunately, they use the model application. So uh, for ferry steamship simulation, this is simulation, so it's not what you are doing. But you can have some idea how, uh, from object how they actually do visualization and simulation. So again, I think for this week, you should be doing this. The four uh, video to kickstart with how to use Blender. Then from there, then you can start to play around, and then if you have any problem, and then you can. Oh, more coming. Da, 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 da. PDS Max, I'm 6 GB. Maya, I'm 4 GB. Blender, okay, so basically I am small, okay. So uh, Mustakim advises us to use Blender if you have a limitation on your hardware. <laughs> it's true that 3, uh, 3DX Max uh, actually take up more, but the problem is I was introduced 3DX Max first, so I have more experience in that than Maya and Blender. So once you're familiar with one, you don't feel like changing because you have a whole lifetime to learn, but the moment you start working, you the hands-on part, you just stick to what you are comfortable and you don't really upgrade yourself from there anymore because theoretical kicks in. Um, but now when you are in your student life, most of the time you learn things because you want to complete your assignment. 
So if you think that in future you are more of which kind of person, and then you can stick to one one application for now. Okay, next. We are going to have final exam at the end of the semester. No, darling, and uh, from beginning of this moment, this subject is 100% coursework. So I was quite, I do not need to admit, uh, I mean, uh, omit a lot of uh, our pro forma. Other lecturer who has uh, supposedly 60% uh, of uh, assignment and 40% of final exam, they either has to do two things convert the final exam into a coursework or the final exam they need to do it online whereby the online is confirmed open book because it's uh, during PKT and we are working on home the only thing that we can do is to restrict the time so that although you have open book but you have no enough time to open your book you understand that? so instead of uh, two hours sitting down in the exam hall for let's say 10 questions uh, that has a subdivision in it, A, B, C, D. So we are doing the same thing, but you have open book with one hour. So that each uh, uh, question you allocate with shorter time. So you need to really know exactly which page to flip or know exactly what to answer, keywords first. Okay, for now, no question. Yes, true. Software is just a tool. Skill is more important. Also, what cancel the final exam? IIRC. What is IIRC? I do not know. But uh, temporarily, um, just to share with you all, uh, the memo is up to 31st of December that we are not going to have any, if I recall correctly. Uh, I do not know. Maybe you are talking about the person who is in charge about BPAQ code. Is it IIRC equivalent to BPAQ? Uh, people who are in charge of the exam in UPSI or in KPT? Okay, anyway, uh, it's true that you are not going to have final exam. If you have also, it's going to be online. Oh, it's from the newspaper. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe because um, lacking of theoretical class and Truly, just by presenting and sitting like that for your age, um, it might not be really possible for all students because certain students, uh, master and above, or maybe PhD and above, they, they are very used to reading materials by themselves and understanding it by themselves. But diploma and degree still need like 50% of guidance from the instructor. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be difficult. If nobody is answering you, any question and you figure it out all by yourself, it's almost like you register to like Wawasan Open University. And Wawasan University is uh, mostly catering for those who has already exposed to the society and been working. So they know how to get their question to forum, they get the society to help, but uh, your level, maybe you're not, not yet. The, the, the same thing like for my kids uh, who is uh, four and a half years old, you ask her to sit 40 minutes in front of the, the, the computer and just listening to voice or so, they are not interested. Because at their age, they need colorful things and animation. So there's no one solution that can cater to all levels. So we are also trying out this semester and see what happened next. And uh, diploma is also coming soon. Then most of the time, degree, there will be more theoretical, but diploma, there are a lot of hands-on, right, for coursework. So it's also a challenge. <laughs> so let's see how from time to time. Okay, um, next week, most probably I'll be scheduling the class on Tuesday. To be fair, it's either Tuesday morning or Tuesday afternoon. To be fair, so that uh, certain people who cannot enter on Wednesday, they will be dropping next week. There will be uh, some people who are convenient to come in Tuesday and so on. So there might be different target group. Uh, anyway, uh, this video, uh, if it's too long, I have to upload it to YouTube. It's a short, I'll just put it in my guru so that whoever that do not join our class today can actually go and view it by yourself to understand the requirement of the assignment. Uh, get started soon. Uh, I'll see you all next week to talk about the rubric and how you're going to fill in the questionnaire for your bonus mark. Okay, and uh, if I find any other helpful links, of course, I will. Tuesday, I have another class, doctor, morning and evening. Oh, 
then uh, for Gojib, you have to watch the asynchronous video, meaning the, the recorded video. Okay. We have 120 people today. We have 61 people in the group. So it's, again, half of the group went missing, maybe because of the Wi-Fi or maybe because they are having class at the same time. Okay, so no more question. Eight more minutes. Um, every week I'll be just doing a short class because otherwise, again, I'll be talking by myself uh, just to clear the air. So if you have any question, keep the question so that we can discuss it on the spot. Or if you have any question that you need to know it uh, right away, you can put it in the WhatsApp group. Like I say, WhatsApp group is also a medium for me to support you throughout this PKP as my teaching uh, uh, job or workload. Can you share this class record? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just said uh, this class record will be shared out. Oh, I, I, I did do the recording. You can see that it's recorded from the beginning of the class. So whoever that cannot join today live, you'll be seeing the uh, recorded video. <clears throat> Any more? <clears throat> Chill Chandra, don't be rushed. <laughs> okay, so um, in that case, uh, we will stop uh, today and then I'll, I'll schedule again and let you all know. Uh, maybe the link, I, the next round, I wouldn't give you a uh, pre baked link, which means that today I'm doing the class, then only I will post the link on my Google. Because I realized that they regenerate a new link. And uh, even my daughter is having some Zoom class also. They give the, the Zoom uh, ID or that, but uh, on that day, it just didn't work. Then they need to generate a new one. So I might as well wait for the day, then I, I generate and then you're coming. But I'll let you know the time soon. It's confirmed to be next Tuesday for next class. Okay, so with that, no more questions. So the, the remaining support will be um, on WhatsApp group until next Tuesday. I'll see you all again. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Bye. See you. Bye. Thank you, Doctor. Bye. Thank you, Doctor. Aswani, kita dah habis kelas. <laughs> that's why I just went because I just finished my class. <laughs> so that's why I just went. <laughs> I know, I, I, I realized, but the thing is we have just completed because it's 9 to 10 30, not 10 30 start. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that. Drop officially. 10 10 to class. <laughs> are, you, are you still in this class or you have dropped officially, uh, Anwar? No, it's, it's finished. That's why I just joined. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Next week, you okay. will be. But, uh, next, next week, same time, doctor? Uh, I, but uh, um, now it's no more theoretical class. So it's more on uh, telling them about assignments. So I, I don't see how it can benefit you. But I'm <laughs> welcome to join anytime you want. Uh, all right, doctor. Thank you so much. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. See you. Bye. Stay safe. Sweet voice. <laughs> Bye, all. Uh, Mustakim, since you are here, maybe after they drop, then you have just now whatever personal question you can you can build it here. I will stop the present, stop the recording. <clears throat>